I can't vote for a party that is for all kind of sexual perversions. I can't do it. I can't vote for a party that's going to accept transgenders going into women's restroom. I can't do it. The show you've been waiting for. If this is your first time tuning in to the Miguel Lopez Show, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, anything that you can do to help us continue spreading the word. And remember, if you disagree with my point of view, this is a free platform, a community platform, so feel free to post your comments below, but let's keep it in a professional way because there are multiple people, different people that do read our comments, so please, let's refrain from the swearing and the bad behaviors. Let's have a productive community environment when we can argue and discuss different point of views without calling each other's name or insulting each other because that's the beauty of America when we can agree to disagree but still coexist. Without further ado, let's get started. Today in this episode, a pastor just lost it. He's playing why he is unable to vote for the Democratic Party because their views do not align with his and they are driving themselves away from God. They are drifting away from God. Now myself, I am not a religious person per se, but I do believe in a higher power. It's been a while since I went to church, but it is amazing to hear this point of view from a pastor that is not compromised based on what he hears on the media or what people expect him to do because let's say for example same background or same skin tone he's speaking about the reason that he is unable to vote for a party in this case happens to be the democratic but if it was the republican i do believe that this pastor will say the same speech he will give the same reason if the Republicans were the one with this point of view, he will also call him out and explain why he is unable to vote for X party because, like I said before, their point of view do not align with his conviction and his point of view, and they are drifting themselves away from God. But don't let me be the person to tell you, I'm just the messenger here from the person himself. I love the Lord. He heard my cry. I'm baptized, filled with the Holy Ghost. I speak in tongues. Yeah, you can do it around everybody else in church because it feels safe. But the issue is, what will you say out in the midst of that world? Will you stand up for Christ when you out before the world? That's what lets us know where your commitments are. church is bowing. He'll go the hard part right here and I'm finished, but this is the tough part. Y'all ain't gonna like this part. <laughs> but there are two gods that the black church, and I don't like to say black church because God don't divide his church black and white. We all are part of the church. But I'm saying it to give reference to the African-American church. It's two gods that many are bowing to today, and that's the God of LGBTQ and the God of blackness. People have made a God out of color. In other words, I got to be with my color. I got to stand with my color, meaning I'll reject Christ. Color going to get you in trouble. I'm not saying you don't love your people, but if my people go contrary to my convictions, I can't stand with you. Come on, somebody, say amen. Church is bowing to this LGBTQ thing. 
Yes, they are. I'm seeing it happen all the time. What they did, here you go. They pushed LGBTQ on black people. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna stop the video for a quick second. I promise we're going to continue listening to the video of this pastor. But I just wanna address something. I have no problem with what you wanna do with your life, whether you are transgender, lesbian, homosexual, straight, gay, multisexual, whatever the heck you wanna be, that's on you, that's your belief. My belief is I'm straight and that's how I wanna stay. I don't broadcast everywhere, like I'm straight, look at me, if you don't agree with me being straight, then you are a straight phobic. Is that a word, straight phobic? Because when I don't agree with somebody's point of view, if they are homosexual, whatever they be, from the LGBT community, then I'm a phobic person. But that is not the case. You could be whatever you want to be, just keep it to yourself. I don't have, to, you don't have to broadcast that all over my face. That's on you, and this is on me. You believe what you want to believe, I believe what I want to believe. Just because I don't agree with your beliefs doesn't mean I hate you. But I cannot stand that you hate me or call me names because I don't agree with your beliefs when you don't agree with mine. So you see, it's kind of hypocrite if I say so myself. But I have no issue with what you want to be. Like I said before, my issue becomes when you want to broadcast this all over the media, all over, everywhere. If we don't call you by the right pronoun, God forbid, then we are full weak or whatever. Look, man, you can pretend you want to be a woman all you want, but if you were born a biological man, you are a man. I don't care if you want to pretend to be a man, if you are a woman, you're still a woman. So let's keep the facts straight. You could pretend or be what you want to be, but the facts are that if you weren't biological man, if you were born biological man, you are a man. Same thing if you were born a biological woman, you still remain a woman. And it's not to hurt your feeling or anything, but I don't get why I have to pretend that you are a woman. If you are a man or if you are a man, I gotta pretend that you are a woman. Or if you are a woman, I gotta pretend you are a man. You know what I mean? It's confusing, I know. I'm confused with all these freaking different things that are there. Like. I bet you some of you don't even know what the LGTB plus Q and any other extra letters are added to it each year. So let's just keep the fast rate. Be whatever you want to be. Keep the keys out of it. Keep the damn keys out of it. Like I was watching the Pride Parade sometime, like I think it was LA or San Francisco. They show a little news clip. And this guy literally were like exhibiting butt naked, some of these people. No issue, because I don't know if it's because the Pride Parade or whatever it is, but there are kids out there like, how, like, I don't care how proud you are of your sexuality, like exposing yourself in front of kids, that, you, that is sickening, that is sick. And, oh my God. Yes, I know you guys gonna call me all type of names now and that I don't support the LGTB, whatever. I got gay family, so say whatever you want. I don't give a fuck. They know how I feel too. Keep the kiss out of it. That's my main concern. Keep the kiss out of it. Don't try to influence the kiss with your point of view. Let the kiss be kids. Can we agree on that at least? Uh, let's continue with the video because I get extremely mad when it comes to this subject, especially when you involve kids in your, not all of you, I, like I said, I got some cool people that are gay, lesbian, are part of the YouTube community, and they also on the same boat, I mean like, keep the kids out of it, do not make kids alter their body because they haven't developed enough, they don't know what they want, and those are changes that they cannot go back to it. So keep the kids out of it. Stop pretending that you are a woman if you are a man. You know? You could like you could pretend you're a woman all you want, but you're still a man. So let's keep the fast straight. Continue on the video. 
And now, in order for you to be in line with black folk, you got to almost accept LGBTQ. Preach Holy Ghost. Here's what hurt me. Now, I'm finna say it, you ain't gonna like it, but I'm giving you truth. When Obama put the colors on the White House, acknowledging this nation honors LGBTQ, I saw black folk and black preachers compromise. We got to accept it because our black president goes along with it. I don't care what president, what color he is, if you ain't in line with God, I can't stand with you. And that's what's causing y'all. Yeah, I'm preaching up in here. You're getting off with God because you're trying to stand with black. I can't vote for a party that is for all kind of sexual perversions. I can't do it. I can't vote for a party that's going to accept transgenders going into women's restrooms. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't go with a party that wants to cut little girls' breasts off to make them boys. I can't go with a party that says you can be a boy today and a girl tomorrow. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't support a party that wants to remove God from its party platform. You in trouble when the nation forgets God. I can't follow a party that wants to sexualize our children in school, put drag queens in front of them, reading them little children's stories. I can't do it. I can't support a party that wants to take the rights of parents away. In California right now, parents are being arrested because they won't go along with the sexualization of their children. And that right there, my friend, that is the true eth essence of what I'm speaking about. I don't care what's your political belief, whether you are Democrat, Independent, or Republican. If you are a parent, how can you be comfortable with the government interfering in how you raise your kids, like in California? The teacher, the school, the government has basically taken authority over you for your kids. They can change their sex and have altering body procedures in them without you even knowing. Like, as a parent, how can you be okay with that? Forget your political view. I'm talking to you from a parent to another parent. I don't care if you hate me from my point of view on the political spectrum, but right now I'm talking to you from a parent to another parent. Are you okay with the government taking over your parental duties? Because that's what is going on. They can do whatever basically they want to your kids without your concern. Are you okay with that? Can you live, can you even imagine, can you picture how is that? And let's say your kids go through this and you don't know, and then later on your kid becomes an adult. And then they start hating you because they're going to say, like, you were my parent. You did not stood up for me. You did not defend me. You did not protect me against this. I was an innocent child. I didn't know what I wanted. I was just influenced by all this trash in the school and everything that the school keeps doing and the government and I was influenced and you didn't stand for me, you didn't protect me, you didn't move out of the state that wanted to do this to me. Like I was confused and you as my parent, you were supposed to be there and protect me but you didn't do it. How will you feel when that happens? Because think about it, 
The government said kids are not old enough to buy liquor. They are not old enough to own gun until at least they 18 or 21. So if you're not old enough to buy liquor, cigarettes, or own guns because your brain hasn't developed enough, how the heck are you old enough to alter your body, to cut your breast, to cut your wee wee? You tell me, how are you old enough? And this is why I cannot support the views of the Democratic Party. This is why I am so against this radical lefty socialist movement that they are pushing and taking away parental control and trying to control every aspect of your life. Like some of you don't see it because your eyes are shut, you got blinders, so you need to remove those blinders and see the reality. I wish many of you will go to another country outside of the state, a third world country, a country where they do political, political prosecution, a country where socialism has led to communism, like for example, Cuba. Look at Venezuela, what's going on over there now. And I just, you know, it sounds like I have no words, but it's, I just cannot comprehend, honestly. I cannot comprehend how you as a parent are okay with things like this happening to your child. I guess I'm a different type of parent because I would never let the government interfere in my kids' life and do such things. If I live in a state that they pass such rule, I will move out of the state. Whether I can or not, I will move out of the state because that will not happen to my kid. If my kids want to do anything to their body, they can do it once they become an adult. Once they become independent, now they can do it. But as long as they keep, I am going to protect them with teeth and face. And no matter what, I will not let anything happen to my kids like that. So, oh, but anyways, I'm not going in a rhyme. I'm just going to play the last little bit of the video. And let's see. Let's see how he ends. But there are many parents that are compromising. Y'all got to make a decision. It's either God or the devil. As I say in the beginning, I'm not a very religious person. It's been a while since I last stepped foot in church, but listening to the word from this man, not just the part that I use for this video, but if you go and listen to the whole sermon, it's really inspiring. You can hear that he's not compromised. He's preaching the word of God. He's talking from the heart. And I felt that within my soul. And there's ways to support this organization. I'm going to go online right now and make a small donation. You don't have to make a big donation. If you want to make like a five dollars, one dollar, whatever you are able to donate to this organization, please do go and make sure you make a donation. Just think about it. You could go to the store and buy a couple of sodas and a beer sandwich. You spend like what, 10, 15 dollars. You could make a donation and then just go home and make yourself a sandwich from the stuff you got in your house. So, you know, just a simple donation. It doesn't have to be recruiting. You could do a one-time donation, so let's help them so they can continue spreading the word and talking from not just their religious point of view, but from the heart, like preaching the word from the heart and not being compromised because of what they hear, of what they see on the news. I don't know if you get me, like I said before, I'm not a super religious person, but I do relate and I understand the message that this pastor is preaching and I am so glad I found his organization online. So just make sure you go and make a small donation. I'm gonna, you know, screen by screen, you're gonna see how to do the process. I will black out my bank information in the amount why I donated just because I don't want anyone to feel any pressure from the amount that I donate. So just donate whatever you can, even if it's a dollar. Adala helps. It goes a long way. 
Anyways, this is set for today. I will see you in the next one. If you know, you know.